Okay, we're ready to do our final assembly here. I'm going to start up here at the top of the hopper and install the slide ring. Uh, and this particular unit did not have any shims under the slide ring because there's also shims that go between the bottom of the hopper and the slide ring. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble it the way uh, it was without shims. And uh, once we get it all put together, we can close the hopper and, and put the infeed scroll in here and uh, see exactly if it's a little bit too loose or not and if you need to tighten it up a little bit uh, if it's a little wobbly then you can actually you can actually add some shims underneath the slide ring that would bring it down and and it would tighten up that uh, infeed scroll so we've got the right fasteners now these are slotted head uh, countersunk screws so you just want to take a bit of uh, blue loctite on these, uh, these screws. Give a little bit of blue Loctite on each one of them. And this little pocket here goes on the same side as this pocket for removing the red urethane ring. So Ideally, you don't drop them. Actually, let's go right here like this. And we'll get that started there. that into place. And our last fastener. They're a little slippery when you get a little Loctite on them. So we can go ahead and tighten these up. You don't have to get too crazy with the tightness, just snug them up good, let the Loctite do its job, double check all of them, make sure they're all snug down properly. Okay, okay that's installed correctly. So now we need to install our spring energized seals. So this is where it gets very specific. These are your spring energized seals. And they go in these grooves on the top. You have your inner ring and you have your outer ring. And these springs, the spring always goes towards the side, the wet side. So whatever you're trying to seal and keep out of a certain area, you, you place the seal on, the, I'm sorry, the spring on that side. So the springs are going to be facing up along with this groove with the little channel in it. And there's a tapered side here that goes down into the groove. So you, well, you want to have the spring side facing up on both of these. Same thing with the inner. There's a little, there's this face here that has a groove on it that faces up towards the catch ring. You would not want to put it in like that. So, with that being said, what you do not want to do is to hammer these in this groove. That will absolutely not work. 
It's very important that you grease these properly with food grease. Place them on top of the groove and then we use that catch ring to push those seals into the grooves so they actually bottom out exactly where they're supposed to go. So with that being said, we're going to take and grease our seals right now. Take some food grade grease. Go around the seal. And just coat it with the food grease. This can get a little messy. That's okay. You want to coat that entire seal with the grease and place it in the groove. Same thing with the outer seal. This makes the seal install much better and more uniform. So same thing, put that right in your groove. Just like that. Okay, so seals are all in place, they're greased, they're all facing the proper direction. So now we're going to take our catch ring. Okay, all right, this is all nice and clean. And we're going to just go put, it, put this directly on top, line the holes up. There's four uh, bolt holes. You want to line up with the holes on top of the uh, four point bearing and being that we're going to be pulling with these I like to put a little anti-seize on these bolts okay anti-seize is on there Okay, we're just coming down here to where everything's nice and tight. I just want to confirm that these are nice and tight. And I believe in double and triple checking bolts. Because it's that one that you don't check will get you every time. Okay, so. We know our air gaps are exactly where we need them to be. We know uh, our this outer seal is exactly where it's supposed to be. We know our sp spring energized seals are in place, greased, and compressed properly. Uh, so now uh, all we need to do is wipe off the residual grease around the outside here, and then we can uh, actually fit our caps that uh, go over these. Uh, they close these holes out. You can go ahead and put those into place right now. And for these, I just like to use a, a little piece of plastic rod.
that little string that comes off, that's just part of the plastic. It's taken its shape to the hole. They're just a little cover. That keeps debris out of there. So we can go through and clean all that out, no problem. And then uh, the next uh, phase of this is to go ahead and install our urethane seals. And uh, it never hurts to put a little food grease on these two. They come, they come out a bit easier. So if you just take a little bit of food grease, things typically disassemble easier when they have a bit of lubrication on them. So that goes in the bottom there. And the top one, I'll do the same with. And this guy goes up here, pushes in there like that. All right, and now the bottom one should do the same. It just pushes. See, if you put a little bit of grease on them, they just push right in the groove. If you don't grease them, then you have to tap them in with a, a, a dead blow hammer. Um, and when you start hammering on this, sometimes people don't always grab a, de grab a dead blow hammer. They'll get a ball peen hammer and you start damaging these surfaces. So I like to just fit it by hand if I can. And that way you know there's nothing binding and it, and it fits right into place as it should. So we just need a little fine, uh, final cleanup and detail here. And um, I believe that we're uh, completely finished here. Now uh, there's another cap that goes in the, uh, the threaded hole here. I can get that put in as well. And um, we should be completely finished. Uh, so now we have... We've confirmed that our four-point bearing is good. Um, we've confirmed that our shimming is proper. And we have all new seals, spring energized seals, along with the uh, red urethane seals, and a brand new uh, slide ring, and the proper fasteners in that at this point. So we're, uh, we're ready to go for production at this point. So thanks for tuning in and watching this video. Please check back to our website periodically to see new videos that we've uh, posted to help you better work on your VMAG backing fillers.